Today in class, I will ask you a riddle. Floats like a butterfly, stings like a bee. It's not, it's not Muhammad Ali. Sharp like a samurai, impressive like sushi. Who is he? Kagawa, Kagawa, Shinji, Shinji. Shinji Kagawa hadn't really lived up to the expectations so far this season. Even though his quick feet and ability to be in the right place at the right time made him invaluable to Dortmund. But man, did he deliver today. Three goals of total quality and opportunism. And suddenly after a goal less 46 minutes, Norwich were reduced to a team that just watched as United took flight. The first half was all about United finding its feet and resolute defence by Norwich. It was a technical battle as Norwich managed to put players behind the ball in the box all through the half. And United tried to find a way through either Rooney or Van Persie dropping deep behind the defence. Looking for the ball to feed their strike partner through the middle or somewhere or the other. Or through Valencia and Chris Smalling who kept knocking in inch perfect crosses into the Norwich box for either of the big two. But it was Kagawa whose positional play of the ball made him the most dangerous. Always in the box, always looking to run in behind the defence to find some space and it paid off. In the last minute of the first half, finally, as he ran onto a Van Persie knockdown to slot one in. After that, Norwich was left looking for an equaliser, which left acres of space open for United to punch through. Kagawa knocked in another two, which were just better than the first one. And Rooney added to his assist with a screaming shot from 25 yards. And the match and the revenge was in the bag. So, more good news ahead of the home match against Real with another of our midfielders hitting form. On the other hand, Madrid is coming off with back-to-back -back wins over mighty Barcelona. What's going on? So, it could be a real battle, oh, sorry, real battle at the Theatre of Dreams next week. And the question this week, what do you think Madrid will do to get past us on Tuesday? And what do you think we should do? to keep them from doing it. Simple, isn't it? Until then, I'm doing some flexing exercises so that I'll be able to cross all my fingers and toes by the time the big match comes. Oh,